Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing another creating new shirts episode, and this time we're doing it on a team where I don't want to do it on, but it got suggested by a friend of mine. And now, I mean, I would have probably done this team anyway at some point, but if you guys don't know, I'm an Ajax fan, fan. and Ajax and Feyenoord don't really go well together. So it's basically the, the derby in the Netherlands. And I don't like Feyenoord because of it. I pretty much hate them. And that's the reason why I didn't really want to make football shirts on them. But I still think, like, without a doubt, I still think any team deserves an episode in this series on my channel, basically. And even though I don't like the team itself, I do think I should give the fans something to see on my channel from their own team. So, yeah, enough, enough chit-chat. And uh, let's just get straight into this. So, we're going to give them the ugly half-and-half half coloring, which, like I said, I said it before when I rated all the Premier League shirts, I don't like the... Crystal Palace home shirt because it's an half and half shirt. I don't like them. I do actually think that sometimes they work, but most of the times I don't like them at all. Look at this. This this coloring is this coloring is just horrible. But I don't really have a choice because that's the main thing about them. Basically, the only thing they have that's on their shirts every single year is the half and half coloring with the white and red. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to tell you anymore. I'm, I don't like creating shirts for Feyenoord. So let me just tell you about my channel if you're new. Uh, <laughs> so please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Because I will make a lot more of these shirts creation videos. Because the, these are basically my go-to videos to make and i just i like doing them i like making them and i just think that because i like them i'll continue them for a long time and they're easy to make so it will not take me a long time to create any videos and th that way i can keep posting daily basically but let's get on to this because this shirt is done and this is the home shirt that we've made today and it's all right for what we've wor had to work with. I think it looks all right. It looks decent. It looks good enough. Let's get straight into the away shirts. And this, the away and third shirt from this episode are basically the ones where I actually want to try. Like I actually want to make something because here I can just do my own thing and just kind of see what I want to make. Like, I just can create things that I want to instead of having to put the half and half shirt there. And, well, I just went with a blue, dark blue background just because I could. And I, I did do a bit of research and I know that some of their last, like, away shirts from Feyenoord are almost always blue. And then, I mean, from the last few seasons, of course. So I tried to create a few all right looking shirts. Like, I mean, I always try that, but I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because I just, I'm kind of day pre. That's Dutch. Day pre is basically saying you're depressed, but yeah, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I did actually try to create a good shirt for my arch rifles. And I don't know if I should feel good or bad about it. But I'll for now I'll feel good about it. But as soon as the video gets uploaded, I'll feel bad about it. Let's just say that. Uh, basically, I decided, you know, a lighter blue and white at the end of every single uh, sleeve. Basically, on the sleeves of the shorts, on the sleeves of the shirts and the socks. Just at the end of it, I'm putting a lighter blue than what what the shirt is and basically putting a white bit across it and then i found this arrows pattern and 
I just thought it worked. So I just copied it to the socks and shorts. And not gonna lie, that is just the end of the video, video end of this shirt. Because that's how we ended up with this away shirt. And I personally think that this is a great shirt. It definitely isn't the best I ever made, but it's still a really good looking shirt. I like really like the arrows going across it. I think it's great. I think it's a great shirt. It's just so sad to see that it has a ugly ass badge. Now we keep moving into the third kit. And I wanted to try something different from the third kit. So I just grabbed another template from another T, another kit created. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I basically just grabbed another template. A, this, this time a Nike template. And I just... It takes me a while to get there. But I eventually change the nike to castore because of course every single time when i make this video so i don't really explain it but basically the thing that we need to do there's only one rule in the entirety of this series and that is that we basically use the same manufacturer of the shirt and the same and we basically give them the same shirt sponsor the main shirt sponsor i don't really do any other sponsors on the shirts because I think that with a lot of, a couple of teams from like low lower leagues, it would be horrible to just add twenty sponsors, and I didn't really want to do that. But anyways, back to the final shirt. And for this shirt, I basically tried. I wanted to do something with lines because they don't really do anything with lines, and I think, you know what? Even though uh, one of their city rivals in Sparta used red lines across a white shirt i thought you know what a black shirt with red lines would look quite decent and then i just put a fade on top of it and i didn't really like i still wanted the lines to go diagonal across the shirt but i didn't really know how to work in the fade because i think the fade is one of the things that i should definitely keep in the shirt the gradient i think it works but I kind of had to make it work with a different template once again. So I kept changing template for a couple of times here. And I'll be honest, it took me a while, a lot longer actually than I wanted to do this. But I actually found a Adidas template where I could just delete the three stripes and it just looked great. And after then put a Nicastore logo back on I thought I had it I only had to put this, the same exact lines on the socks and put them horizontally just to make it the socks look a bit better and this is how we ended up with this third shirt and I'm pretty happy about it I'm still not too glad that I made a Vyanort episode on this series but I kind of had to let's be honest because if I don't, I discriminate against the team and I don't want to do that. And I do think that every single team deserves an episode on this channel. So if you guys don't know, at the end of every single episode, we basically do a ranking of the shirts that I made in the episode from one I like the least to one I like the most. And let's get straight into third place of today because we already know what team, what shirt will be third place. And it's going to be the home shirt. Like I said, I just don't like half and half shirts. The fact that I had to make one is already hard on me, but, you know, that's the reason why it's third. I don't like it, and it's going to stay that way. And in second place, I've put the away shirt. I still think it's a really good shirt, but I uh, I just don't really know what, what to say because I still think it's great. Still think it looks quite decent, and let's be honest, that could have been a lot worse, but... I don't think it's better than first place and that's the reason why it's second of course. And of course first place had to be the third shirt. I really like it and I genuinely think that if you put any other club logo on top of this, I would buy it. Like and I mean probably not a PSV shirt or some PSV logo or something but you understand what I mean. I think this is a great shirt. I think this is the best one of the day. And then I only have one thing left to say. And that is going to be. Please leave a like. And subscribe if you want to see more. 
and I'll see you around in a bit. Bye bye.